Alright folks, what is up? This is One Big Bug and I am coming at you with the Unsung Heroes of the ARAM series and in this one we are playing Blitzcrank. Now, I know what you're saying. Blitzcrank is not an Unsung Hero. As a matter of fact, Blitzcrank is typically the hero of an ARAM. Well, this is true, except for a couple things. Number one, the Blitzcrank actually needs to be able to make grabs. All right? That's vitally important to any Blitzcrank. And number two, my, the reason I picked this is my team. Let me pause this real quick and take a look at my team. Jarvin, who's stronger late game, he's okay early game, but for for like engage one up, but he's stronger in late game. And then we have Zillion. Zillion's really strong early game, especially in ARAM. He's really strong, but he even even in a full build, he kind of tends to fall off uh, in the later game. Mostly used for his ulti. We have Sejuani, who's kind of an initiate in CC. And then we have Jax. And Jax is all about the late game. And as we know, ARAM usually doesn't go to late game. Look at the team we're against. We're against Leona, uh, the queen of uh, initiate and CC. They have ranged in Graves. They have ranged AP and CC in Rise. They have Garen, who's good at initiation. They have Tarek, who has some CC and healing, as well as bonus armor for the rest of the team. By all appearances, their team should win. As anyone may know in an in a ARAM game, the team that wins is usually decided in the champion. And it's not, I, I don't know what else to call it besides champion select. The champion give, maybe. Anyways, usually when the two teams come up, you can take a look at the two of them and say, well, this team is going to win because they have this poke and they have this tank. and they have this. You know, you can usually figure that out that way. But in this game, there's one different factor, and that factor is a Blitzcrank. And I'm actually pretty good on a Blitzcrank making grabs. I'm not saying I'm great by any means. I'll, I'll never, like, deny the fact that I'm, like, a silver player, maybe, at best. But you can't deny that I, every time I've played, I've actually made some really key grabs. Now, when I play Blitzcrank... I purposely put two points into his grab and one point into his power punch. I level his grab first, I level his power punch second, and I level his um, speed boost last. Because you're all about getting that cooldown, getting that grab, um, getting the person into your team, and then knocking them up as soon as possible. So you're going for the immediate cooldown on both. As, as much as possible. So getting that grab, getting that CDR really, really helps on Blitzcrank. And I started with the Ionian Boots, a Fairy Charm, uh, three health potions, and two mana potions. As we're checking the bushes here. Now, at this point, it's this late. Sejuani is, is sitting here. Right? Sejuani's sitting here. You So you know the team's in the area. What's the one thing you shouldn't do at this point? Right face check the bush. What's the one thing you shouldn't do if the other team has a blitzcrank? Even get near the bush. But watch Tarek. You're, you're not getting out of that. You're just not. If, if the other team has a blitzcrank and you come near the bush, you, you just might as well assign yourself to hoping he either misses or you're dead. One or the other. There, there's no excuse for doing that. I get pissed every time somebody on my team face checks a bush. If you have people that are capable of checking a bush without going face check, then let them do it. As Jarvin tries and initiate, as does uh, Jax there. Notice what I'm, I'm hanging in the back. I'm looking for that for that grab. And I went for one on Leona, but I didn't see the minion that was in the way. And something my team does, it actually helps. And um, l let me go for the pause here again. Something that my team does, it actually helps. Now, we're actually a little too close here for this. But my team is hard engaging. Between Jax, Jarvan, and Sichuani, we actually have a lot of tankiness. Plus, we do have the bombs from Zillium, which are strong early. Plus, we have myself playing Blitzcrank. We actually have a good engaged team. Uh, we can easily get in on them and do damage early. We have the tankiness. We have the survivability to do this. We just have to make use of it. 
And so that's what my team is doing here. Now, Jarvin, all, not Jarvin, but Jax almost dies, but he bails out. We, And there we go. We managed to take down Leona as well. It was risky, ballsy, lucky, but it worked. Going in hard and gauge when you have a tanky team versus a team that's either well balanced or poked, and there we go. Rise gets knocked up, but he's flashed out, but still he's got a bomb over his head. He's gonna be chunked out pretty hard. So that's all I'm doing for uh, as a Blitzcrank, and that's you know, well, it's kind of like, well, what else you do as a Blitzcrank? I don't know. Look, there's Graves, and he dashes away and flashes. So I've gotten two flashes out of the other team. And I end up having to bail out with a flash and use my um, shield as well, my uh, barrier. It, it's kind of a panic because I'm worried that somebody's going to follow up on me or try to come through. So, yeah, we're all hurt, but their Garen is just about dead. They're semi-hurt, but, you know, my team's still pretty strong. I'm too far back right now. I should be up further. But I'm actually trying to stay out of the team's vision. I want them to not know where I am. I see Jax getting ready. Did I DC at this point? Oh, no. I was just waiting for Le Leona. I was trying to save Jarvan, but it didn't work. And so now my team's got to fall back. I take some damage. You know, not too great. But I survive. And Zillion survives barely. And whoop. There we go. Yank Tarek again. This is another danger that you have with a Blitzcrank, and, and let's jump back and watch. Right here, Tarek's already too far out of position. And so is Leona. Now, I'm out of position for the grab, but I move forward, and right there. Tarek stayed too long trying to get the kill. There was nothing between him and Blitzcrank, and that's just going to be the end of it. I, it's pretty obvious. A lot of people should know this, but a lot of people get so tunnel vision they forget. You want to keep something, even if it's another teammate, between you and... There, that's a nice engage with uh, Jax and Sejuani there. Managing to uh, take out Graves. Graves is the only one on the enemy team that I'm truly going to be worried about. You know, he's the only one I care about. Oh yeah, runes and masteries. I'm using... Um, Defensive Masteries, 921. Um, I really will, will kind of start writing down those Masteries, and I will start doing that for you coming in the upcoming videos. In my runes, I'm actually using my support runes in this case. And just some back and forth here. They're going for Jarvan. They're not going to get him. And I, I could have grabbed, I could have grabbed um, Rise right there, but I didn't. But my, I'm using my support runes, which is armor reds, armor yellows, magic resist scaling blues, and gold per ten quints. Because I'm, I, when I go in with blitz rank, I'm going in the mindset that I can deal some damage, but that I want to deal, I, I want to be more utility. I go with a support mindset. I could have used my support masteries, uh, but I decided not to. I decided to go more defensive. And just a silence, which actually wasn't that great of an idea. But we do get a kill on Tarek. I mean, Tarek gets a kill on us. We get Rise, and we lose two more. But, yeah, you saw there... Let me jump back. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's jump back a little further, because I've totally got confused on that. Whew, that was bad. So, check in the bush. And this is just going to go bad for us. As you see right there, he ends up going down. Jax ends up going down to Tarek, and Demacia comes in, and I get Rise. But it's, it's truly going against us, mainly because of Graves. And Sejuani goes down. And I see that, yeah, they're out too far. And there. That's going to be the end of um, Garen. Unfortunately, since one, he got the kill because he had Ignite on him. And it was an Ignite tick that ultimately killed him. But again, they were grouped up here with nothing between them and me. So it was an easy pull into the tower. 
Ah, tried to grab, didn't work. And we're all going to end up going down here. And Yeah, it just went pretty bad for us, but... Fortunately, a lucky tower shot will end up taking out Leona and giving me a nice shutdown on her. So, I started Ionian Boots and um, a Fairy Charm, as well as some Health Pots and Mana Pots. So now I've picked up a Blasting Rod and a Sheen. I am going for, of course, Lich Bane. And another bad engage for my team ends up in Jax dying again. Bad engage because they were going under a tower uh, without everyone there. But there we go. I managed to pull Rise out of the fight when um, Jarvan engaged. That took him out. And now Garen finds himself in a bad spot. But he'll be able to get out. My mind's already starting to turn towards Rise and uh, Graves. It honestly is. It's like, these are the two that I want to grab. Grabbing Leona, of course, is bad because she's, you know, going to be very tanky. She has a lot of CC. Um, I don't exactly know that the Zillion alt was needed, but oh well. And uh, Garen, Garen's always a bad pull unless he's low health. And Tarek, Tarek's not that bad. He's only got a single stun, but he's still not the greatest idea to pull if he can be tanky. And that's not the wisest of jump-ins. But it's sort of turning in our favor. And then turns against us. As we give up a triple kill to Rise. And they smartly back off as I just missed pulling Rise. It wouldn't have killed them anyways though. Between myself, Zillion, and the tower, we would not have done enough damage. So at this point, I'm just coming up to try and take care of the minions, and I'll take some rise damage, but nothing too too bad. As uh, just using my ulti there manages to push the wave out. I want to grab that health, but I can't, so I just decide to yank rise into the tower and make him pay for it. And Zillion gets a shutdown. Yeah, this is something else you can't you can't do against Blitzcrank, and as Blitzcrank, you need to watch for. As the other team gets aggressive, oops, I meant to pause. As the other team gets aggressive, they get into your tower. What do they want to do? They want to deny you this health. You're the ultimate counter to this. You can use the health easily as bait. They walk up to get the health. If it's anyone that's not too dangerous, like in this case it was Rise, or um, you know if Graves came up. It would be an easy grab, because you know exactly where they're going to be. The second they touch the health, you can grab them. And at, with the distance between this health here and the tower, you easily yank them in the tower range and CC them. Especially if there's a couple of you here, it's an automatic kill. And I've seen a lot of Blitzcranks in um, ARAM that don't take advantage of that. Again, I wouldn't call it the, the smartest engage to start as they're going for the more tanky and they're ignoring Graves. And that ends up getting me taken out. But, yeah, there's a pop. And it does go in our favor in the long run. But still, it was dangerous. It went in our favor in the long run. I mean, there was no rise to start with. And the win in our favor in the long run is... Ooh, will that kill him? Yes, that's enough to kill him. And there we go. There's the nice zillion ult. It went in our favor because I believe that rise wasn't there. And... Yeah, I guess it was, I would say it's a little lucky because Graves could have easily been very, very dangerous to the team and taking us out from a distance as we ignored him. Now, my team right now, despite being the shorter range, uh, mostly melee with only Zillion as our range, we're actually up five kills and we're up pretty close to about thousand gold. Which in ARAM is actually pretty good. That would have been a really terrible engage, and 
I think I tried to grab Braves there, but it didn't work. And unfortunately, Jarvan, I'm helping Ulti, ends up trapping me, so there's not much I can do. But again, the overall tankiness of my team at this point manages to help bring us through. I don't know if I got the grab on Graves there. I wasn't paying attention, but it was pretty close. And yeah, I'm going to pay for that. Because we end up giving a double kill. we end up giving a triple kill to Graves, unfortunately. <sighs> I just wanted to pop... Garen, but my team decided to engage in return and in reality they shouldn't have but it is at this point that I'm deciding all right Graves is now the danger I'm gonna focus if I can as you see the damage he's able to just just pull there I'm gonna focus as many pulls as I can on to Graves and I've already finished up Lich Bane and I've got the Phoenix Codex and two Fairy Charms. I'm actually going for the Chalice because I want my CDR at 40 at 39, 40 percent. Because I want to be able to make as many grabs as I can. I want to be that that scariness when it comes to a Blitzcrank engage. And right there, bam! I want to go back and actually take a look at that grab in slow motion because I actually had to. That, that was pretty that was a pretty sneaky grab as you see graves jump in and look at Leona standing there but I managed to hook past her that was as much luck as it was um, skill that I managed to hook past Leona and get graves Leona almost managed to block it you see now graves is out of the fight and they're on the retreat and I managed to grab Garen not somebody I want to grab but he was the only available target. And the fact that my whole team was there and they were on the run kind of, you know, kind of made it safe at that point. At this point, we really just want the tower. And there's the uh, Demacia onto Rise, which takes him out. Then we finish off Tarek as well. And this tower is going to go down. Looking for a pull on Leona? Not happening. So at this point, oops, I apologize. At this point, I've already got maxed out grab, and I've got maxed out punch and level 2 ulti. So now all I have left to level is my speed. Jarvan goes a little too far, so the rest of my team back off, which is just Zillion, um, Sejuani, and myself at this point. You know, we need to back off, but again, I'm just keeping my eye on Graves. I want to keep him hooked. I want to keep him busy. I mean... Danger-wise, Graves already has an Infinity Edge and a Zeal, plus Boots and two, two Duran's Blades. Graves' biggest mistake here, and this is a mistake, is he doesn't have Life Steal. Life Steal is huge in Amram for any ADC. I always, and I learned this lesson the hard way on Caitlyn, I always now recommend getting the, um, I forget what the blade's called. It's, it's, you know, the equivalent of, um, well, you know what, I forget, so I'm just going to say, make sure you get Life Steal as an ADC. It's very important, even if it's just a King's Blade, you know, something of that nature. And here's the engage again. I grab Graves, who's out of position, and finish him off. So he's automatically out of the fight. That's the biggest part of their damage gone. As Jax battles it out with uh, Tarek, that's kind of a given. My team's cleaning up down here. There's a grab on the owner to make sure she can't get away. And there's the ace. And you see, just taking Graves out at the start. Bam! Grabbing him, punching him up. He was already engaged on and damaged at that point. And he's done. So now, this tower is going to fall. Yeah, pretty simple. Now we're moving in on their inhibitor. And there's Graves again. Now, notice this. Let's jump back a little bit. Right. right here. Notice this. My team comes up to take the inhibitor. Where am I? 
I'm staying just behind them. Why? Because I see Graves coming. I want Graves to forget about me. I want him to tunnel vision my team, especially when he his team members come up, which is you can see over here that Rise and Garen are up and Leona and Tarek are going to be coming up very shortly. I want him to forget about me. I want him to tunnel vision on protecting the Nexus. When he does that, he becomes an easy target for a grab. Sometimes the best thing in Blitzcrank is not to be the one out in front and charging. Sometimes it's best to be in the background to where you can hide as much as you can say well they're always going to know blitzcrank is there not always it's very easy especially in in aram to forget who's out there and what's going on it's very very easy to lose yourself in the chaos now see my team's kind of backing off because they're low and right there oof just missed but still i drove him out but again, he's just going to be focused down. There's the knockup, and he ends up flashing away. I get hurt, and I end up having to back out. But still, it almost worked. He almost forgot about me as I'm still working, and I get stunned. And then I flash away, and the Zillion ult... Uh, I've, oh, it's back on Jarvan again. A Zillion plus my speed gets me out of there in a hurry. But yoink, into the tower. That was actually a bad idea. <laughs> None of my team had the health to deal with that. That was that was one of those times when, for some reason, Garen has Mundo's burning agony around him. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> oh, there's a glitch in the Matrix for you right there. As if Garen wasn't scary enough, he now has Mundo's ulti. Uh, Mundo's Burning Agony, rather. So, it didn't work that great. It almost did. The problem was, is I tried to get too close to Graves before grabbing him. I, I charged him. And that was a big mistake. So, just ignore that if you can. So again, my team's on the attack while their team backs off. Oh, it has to do with the uh, Sunfire Cape, I think. And there's the Engage on Garen. Again, I'm in the background. This time, it's, I stay behind the wall. I don't know if he could see me. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I don't know if he could see me. As here comes the Engage onto Garen, which normally I wouldn't consider smart. But rather than charge him down, I stay by the wall where hopefully he can't see me that well. And it's an easy grab to a knockup, followed by a silence. It takes him down to half health. He already used his dash. He doesn't have his flash, so he has no way out. And it's easy just to clean him up. And there's a knockup on Garen, who's the only really dangerous one left, and he's gone. Tarek is just a matter of cleanup, as well as Leona who tried to come in for the save, which it really doesn't matter. As we'll just let that go ahead. Double kill for Jarvan. The only one that's left is Rise. I wanted to grab him, but the towers say no. And, yeah, just going to finish him off. And that's going to be the end of it. So there you go, folks. The unsung hero of the ARAM. That being Blitzcrank. Um... Maybe I told you nothing uh, you don't already know. Maybe I told you something that'll help. Either way, this is how it goes. Even with a tanky, uh, mostly ranged team, Blitzcrank can make that big difference by pulling the priority targets into the middle of your team to be blown up. Now, again, like I said, sometimes it's not best to be the Blitzcrank that rushes out. I have seen the Blitzcranks that rush out front. They actually do a good job, especially if they're tanky enough to deal with it. They can get there, grab, and pull them in. But I've also seen that uh, um, backfire as the Blitzcrank gets too far out ahead, makes a grab, but then ends up getting jumped on by the entire team and blown up before the rest of his team can get there to help. I like to play the Blitzcrank more in the background. I like the enemy team to forget about me. I like them to feel like, you know, they're 
I'm not a threat to them because because I'm too far away, or there's just so much chaos going on they just don't realize that I'm there. You know, I, I like to get them to make that mistake and then grab them and pull them in to my team rather than be the one out front. It just it, it works for me and it's it's effective in an ARAM where it's very, very easy to lose what you're doing, what's around you and what's going on in the chaos of the fights. And, of course, I, through the game, which is a little over 17 minutes long, I only made one bad pull. And that was the pull on Garen uh, towards the end, just before this final team fight, when I pulled him into the tower. That was a bad move. He had too much health. Uh, the, my team members that were around, me, Zillian, I think maybe someone else, we were too low health to deal with them. He easily killed us, tanked the tower, and took it down. So there was just one bad pull out of the entire... Um, out of the entire game. So watch your pulls definitely. Prioritize your pulls. Um, make sure you're pulling the priority targets and you're not pulling in the danger like Amumus and Garens and whatnot. So until next time folks, this is one big bug of signing out and I'll see you then.